Hey, what's up, social media family? Hope everybody's having a really good day. Today I want to talk to you about something that kind of caught me off guard. I was talking to a professional book facilitator one day that's somebody that helps other people put together books. And we were talking and and they said, do you know one of the, the number one things searched for when people are looking for a book? And I was like, what? And they said, fear and anxiety. Overcoming fear and anxiety. And I was like, wow, I had no idea so many people struggled with fear and anxiety. And I have a, actually, I've written a, a prayer devotion journal on that, but it'll be coming out in a few months. And so I want to go over some of the writings that uh, I wrote in there. It's going to be just a, a prayer devotion journal where it's got like a scripture, um, like a, a paragraph devotion, and a prayer to pray. And so I was talking to our family about it and, and we googled some stuff like what are some of the things people deal with the most right now and fear and anxiety kept coming up you know we were googling like what people struggle with the most and it just kind of baffled me and i you know me I, i'm a i'm a dreamer I, I think there's no limit to god you know i just believe that god can do anything and and the, one of the number one things that hold people back are fear and anxiety. And if you really realize how big your God is, it'll knock that stuff out of the way. See, what the enemy does is the enemy knows how big God is. He knows how powerful the Lord is, and he knows how powerful you are. But what he tries to do is to convince you that you're not powerful. He tries to convince you that you can't move forward, that, that you can't advance the kingdom of God, that you can't do your prophetic words. That's what the enemy's trying to just pour over your head. He's just trying to pour lies over your head, okay? And so I'm gonna get into a, a few scriptures and some of the things that I wrote about this, and I really hope this helps you. Psalms 34, 4, and I, I want to help you with something. If you're ever struggling with something, you can go to one of the, the places online, like, like there's um, BibleGateway.com, whatever translation you like, type in a word, or you can do a word search over something like depression or fear and anxiety, and and there's a bunch of different websites that will like list out the scriptures. Whatever you're struggling with, get you four or five scriptures on it and stand on those scriptures and fill your heart with the word of God and things will start to shift. Psalms 34, 4, I prayed to the Lord and he answered me and he freed me from all of my fears. He completely freed you from all of your fears. And I wrote some stuff down, but the reason that children of God are so confident in the Lord is because we know he hears our prayers and answers our prayers, okay? Sometimes what the enemy does is he tries to skew your, your view of God, of the Father. But when we really know how much God loves us and how much that he has in store for us, we will see him rightly and we will be able to, as the Bible says, approach the throne room with boldness that we come in and we make our request. The Bible says, make your request known to God that he will hear and he will answer as it says in Jeremiah. And we will just grab a hold of an assurance that God can and will remove all of our fears, all of our anxieties as we move forward with him. Okay. Another scripture, 1 Peter 5, 6, and 7. It says, humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Here's the part that's really good. It says, humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, which means you need to position yourself rightly with the Lord, because God, listen, God wants to free you of anxieties. The Bible says be anxious for nothing, okay? When, when we rightly position ourselves in a place to worship for the Lord, we fill ourselves with the word of God every day. We have great communication with the Lord. We're in there in prayer, 
okay? And I don't care where you are in your life, never go to the Lord like you're second class. Never go ashamed. You walk up, and if, if you've sinned, if you've got something going on, you repent for your sin and allow God to move on your life, okay? Uh, these are just some notes I jotted down. There's absolutely no limit to what God can do with a person who has humbled their self before them. And there is absolutely no limit to the amount of power God can pour out on that person. See, God is wanting to pour out, but the enemy tries to pour out fear, doubt, shame, condemnation. But God is wanting to pour out his goodness upon people. When we've completely submitted our lives to the Lord, he will exalt us at his perfect timing. The Lord knows when he needs to push somebody forward or when he needs to hold them back. A lot of times when we go to the Lord, he wants to just help prepare us for what's coming next because God has a lot of really, really good things in store for us. Um, I, I love Joshua 1 and 9. This is a story about Joshua before he led the, the children of Israel into the promised land. It says, you know, be strong and courageous. D don't be discouraged, okay? I'm going to be with you everywhere that you go. And so I want you to know that if you've tried to do something that you know is from God and you failed, you may have did it wrong. You may have did it a little prematurely, but try it again. D don't be afraid to try it again. Always be willing to move forward with the Lord, okay? 1 John 4, 18, love never brings fear. For fear is always related to punishment. For love's perfection drives the fear of punishment far from our hearts. God is not into fear. Okay? The devil is. The enemy is. You need to walk in love. You need to abide in God in the perfect love of the Father. When a person can truly comprehend and understand the love of God, that is the point where his life starts to shift from surviving to thriving. So many people are just surviving mentally. Their mind is tired. They're frustrated. They feel beat down in life. But when we get a true glimpse of the Father and all that he has, everything shifts in our life. Okay? Isaiah 35, 4. Say to those who have an anxious heart, be strong and fear not because your God will come with vengeance. With the recompense of God, he will come and he will save you. If you have been done wrong, first of all, don't speak evil of your enemy or who, who done you wrong, okay? Just leave that up to God. But here's what you do. Don't have an anxious heart. Be strong in God. The Lord is going to take away anxiety. He's going to take away fear. And wherever you were done wrong, Understand this, the Bible says God will bring to you recompense. Now what happens a lot of times is we go after someone who has hurt us, done us wrong, talked about us, attacked us, and we try to bring recompense. Well, there's a measure to that. When you let God fight your battles, he will heal you. He will heal you mentally. He will heal you emotionally. And a lot of people have had some horrific stuff done to them. Well, God wants to heal you from that on the inside out, and he's going to bring recompense, okay? So stand on that scripture. It's a good scripture that, that you can really fight with. And a lot of times in life, we need to be able to hold on to scripture to strengthen us, and you fight with those scriptures. You quote those scriptures, okay? I'm going to give you one more. Proverbs 12, 25, worrying weighs a person down. An encouraging word cheers up a person. So I want to encourage you today. I don't know what has you beat down. I don't know what is weighing on your mind, on your emotions, what's bringing fear, doubt, anxiety. But I want you to know you are deeply loved by God. I felt compelled by the Lord to do this. And I want to offer prayer. You can go to our website, jojodawson.net, go to the contact button, hit it. There's a place for prayer. Send me a prayer request. I would love to pray for you. And I want you to be encouraged today. God has you covered. God has your back. And friend, listen to me. You're going to be okay because God has an amazing plan for you.